Oh, geez, you caught me reading the paper. Oh, while you're here, come on and sit down and watch Community Viewpoint. I, naturally, I'm John Pollock, your host, and I was just reading about uh, someone I've known for quite a few years. Uh, her name is Tammy Odegaard, and well, rather than have me rattle on about her, let's have her as our guest. And I just happened to have her sitting next to me. So Tammy, <laughs> Tammy is our newest addition to the Nye Community Coalition. Welcome, Tammy. And she's come over from the, the drug court, and um, you've been with us, what, a month now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what you do. You're our work workforce director. director. And so that um, covers the whole workforce division at the coalition. And we um, serve youth and adults. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to be working really hard to help people find jobs and help employers find employees. And you just came in right when we had our last employment uh, um, bazaar or whatever you want to call it, jamboree or... We, we call it an employment and volunteer expo. Expo, that's what it is. I, <laughs> we've changed it a couple times since I've been there. Um, so you're with uh, Career Connections? Yes. And so what, is, what do they do? So they provide help to people who are looking for employment and for employers who are looking for employees. And they start at the resource room? The resource, the resource room is a good place to start. Um, if somebody is looking for a job, come in, um, come to the coalition campus. There's a resource room there where there's a, a computer room where you can access the computers, a fax machine, a copy machine. We can help you with your resume and help you um, get registered in the state system so that you can search for jobs that are online across the state. Or um, if you're looking for something outside of the state of Nevada, we can help you with that too. Yeah, so you register with us. Uh, a lot of times the adults will see you or one of the... One of the case managers mm -hmm. most likely. Uh, they are excellent, and they do a really great job of, of helping folks with whatever they need help with in regards to finding a job. So um, they need to um, first come in and register, and then there are a series of workshops that they can take advantage of to help them um, prepare to really look for a job. We have um, a general orientation, and then there's a job readiness, resume writing, dress for success. There's a general computer uh, workshop that you can take if you're not real comfortable with the computers. And once you've done all of that, then you can meet with a case manager, and then that's where you can get real busy and trying to find a job, and they can provide a lot of extra services for people. Um, to help kind of break down the barriers and whatever they need for their job search. Right, and where we have the computers, you can go online to look for jobs not only at the coalition, but over at our public library. We right. have a, uh, a section over there. We have a little uh, lazy, I don't want to say lazy, Susan, a little turnstile with all the jobs there also. Yep. So whatever is available at our location is duplicated over there also. Right. And we have, they have uh, a computer or two that are dedicated for the job search over there as well. Right, and there's a job board that's posted in the resource room mm -hmm. and that's what is duplicated at the library where all of the jobs are posted so you can take a look and see what you're interested in and then uh, anybody in the resource room or any of the staff can help you apply for those jobs if there's something that catches your eye. Mm -hmm. Also, if you see a job and you think, well, I'll, I need some specific training in order to take that position and you don't, you don't have it, talk to the case managers and um, we have a training program so it's possible that we might be able to help pay for the training for that position too. There are a lot of different uh, aspects of what we do at the coalition to help the folks get jobs. We've had, uh, well, at the, the expo, we just had uh, different uh, employers over there. Uh, the, uh, the pawn shop, which we didn't ever had before, mm -hmm. we asked them to come only because we saw their, uh, their marquee says they're looking for someone. So we said, hey, would you like to come over to our location? Right. and see if you can get some more people rather than just looking for someone just like myself to see it on the marquee. So yeah. they had the people that came in for the uh, the expo uh, and for their uh, booth that they had over there. Yeah. Uh, CCA, the, the, the prison was there. We have other people. Uh, 
uh, truck driving schools, uh, different folks come different times of the year also. Our next one will be in the early fall? September, September. is when the next uh, Employment Expo will be. And if you are an employer who is looking for employees or wants to um, look and see what's available in Pahrump, as far as employees go, come down to the Expo, talk to us ahead of time and we'll reserve a table for you. But there's no cost to you and it's um, from 9 to noon one day, so it's just a little bit of your time so that you can come and kind of get a feel for um, what's, what's out there as far as employment seekers go. And it changes throughout the, the year also. Um, one of these times, well, we should have the, the new hotel, hotel would be coming mm -hmm. up hopefully in the fall also. And there'll, there'll be a whole slew of jobs over there. Uh, uh, so you never know what's coming up uh, for each expo that we have there. And it, it'll be in the paper the, the week before. It'll be, um, we'll, we'll hawk it here on the, the TV show. And it'll be uh, posted throughout the, uh, the, uh, the, the town. And um, let's see, what else are we, we talking about? Uh, uh, did we give them the number yet? Did, do we have the number up there? 727-9970? We forgot to do that. Mm -hmm. But it's 727-9970 for the coalition if you have questions about that or you can just stop by and we'll send you in either Lolita well she's she'll be going uh, shortly but um, uh, one of the other ladies will be over there and guide you to where you have to go and I should have said too um, in addition to the job fair if an employer is looking for some assistance we can also do on-the-job trainings we have a program that's specific for that so if you're an employer and you want to hire someone or if you have a current employee and you want to promote them into a new position mm -hmm. we could do an on-the-job training and um, we will pay half of their salary for up to 12 weeks while they're training so it's a great benefit for the for the employer. Right, so the employers should come in there also to see what we have to offer right. for them. Right. But uh, so that's uh, and, oh, where are we? Do you know where we are? Our address. Do, do you know how to tell them where we are? <laughs> a lot of times we just say behind Walmart. Right. Across the street from the school district headquarters, ten twenty East Wilson. Right. Uh, so it's uh, it's easy to find. It's the old uh, Rosemary. Old Mance Elementary. Mance, Mance uh, School. So that's where we are. And uh, what else do we have to talk uh, talk about for the folks? Let's talk about the youth program <clears throat> a little bit. Oh my goodness, yes, we're very much into the youth. Right. So for any youth who are interested in working or gaining work experience, if they're 15 or older, um, they should come on down to the coalition and... Um, see if there's something that we can help them with in regards to a summer job or if they want something that's going to go into the school year we you know can possibly place them in something like that too um, there's a summer job program for the youth where um, it's on the job training a lot like the adult program it's just for a shorter period of time and um, that's no cost to the employer mm -hmm. and then um, with the students that are going to be doing the summer program they're going to be um, kind of followed throughout the school year so we can continue to do additional trainings with them and stuff throughout the school year so next summer they'll be even better employees mm -hmm. so we're looking for businesses um, who are going to be able to mentor the youth and uh, if you have the patience for that and have work for them to do um, we're, we're looking for places right now that will take youth and they can work, I think it's up to 160 hours for the summer that, that we will cover. And um, we want them to be in a positive environment. So if that's something that um, where you know a place where we could place youth for the summer, we'd like to hear about that right away because we're trying to get all of that in place. It's a great opportunity for an employer to really have a lasting impact on right. one of the kids. Exactly. <clears throat> and if you're looking for clothing, you don't have the proper clothing. Right. We have a clothing closet, mm -hmm. and that's no cost. You don't need an appointment, and you don't. You can just show up and say, I have an interview this afternoon or tomorrow, and I don't have the right clothes, and we'll just take you on over to the clothing closet and find something appropriate for you. And then the clothing is, is it's good quality clothing, and, but it's... Uh, 
people have donated it, and we have it there for your uh, for the for the job seekers. Yeah. So that's another thing that we uh, we provide for our uh, the folks that come over there. So um, <clears throat> that frog's coming back; it's dry. But uh, yeah, so we've had our last uh, expo. So you, you, those of you try, trial by fire, you just got there just as uh, we had that. So we had uh, a, a good group that came in early, and uh, so hopefully we'll have another gr good group uh, coming up in the fall. And and who knows what it'll be like with uh, the employment uh, uh, picture by then. Hopefully it'll be better. Right, and it's a great <clears throat> it's a great opportunity for us to partner with the Chamber of Commerce and oh, the yes. Regional oh. Economic Development Authority. Um, they they're on board with us so that we can make sure that we're we're really serving the business community. Yes, <clears throat> Valley Electric's always there too. Cassandra was there, trying to find more people to become ambassadors. Mm -hmm. uh, she got me uh, early on, <laughs> so uh, uh, they're they're very. Uh, uh, very good for the community, so they have a lot of uh, jobs, uh, the better, better paying jobs over there too. From time to time, they have uh, uh, office jobs. You have journeyman jobs over there too. So you, uh, they will be there if uh, the need arises. Also, yeah. all right. So, and then uh, I think we covered just about everything we had. Um, so, how long were you with Drug Cart? I was there for seven years. Seven years. Yeah. So. Um, you were, I remember you, when I was with West Care too, you were the clerk over there. Yeah. So we, that's where uh, Tammy came from. She's got a uh, very good reputation. <laughs> she was on, sitting on the right side of the judge <laughs> in drug court. So uh, and we're real happy that you're with us also. So once again, this is uh, our, our, our newest employee. Uh, you're in charge of the workforce. And uh, so if you want to see a little bit about Tammy, I was reading uh, in last week's paper for the, the Prompt Valley Times, uh, they had a real nice article about Tammy coming aboard the, uh, the coalition. So if, uh, I think, was there anything else we had to cover? If, I think, if not. I think we did it. I think, I think it's time to go. So I thank you. And we'll see you again next week. Remember the uh, uh, Veterans Reporter newspaper? It's all throughout town. Remember uh, to watch next week. So thank you, Tammy. Thank, thank you. you. And we'll see you later. Thanks.